So I'm already started. Okay. So we have our six signs that won. So let's get started with Taurus. Taurus, what's going on with you? How's your week been so far? I know it's just the beginning, but considering the reading that you had last week, let's see where we're going with this week. All right, how's everyone doing? Are you doing good? Hopefully. I don't know, I'm thinking about the Rider weight instead of this. Okay, yep, 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 yep. All right, guess we're gonna go with this again. All right, so, Radiant Wise, excuse me. All right, let's get this shuffled up. This reading is not gonna resonate with everyone, so please take whatever it is. Like I, I like to say, you put everything into a bucket. Everything that I say, you put it into a bucket. And then you reach in and grab whatever is yours. Whatever doesn't belong to you, leave it inside there for someone else to take. Okay. Rather than say, take what resonates, think of it that way. Everything's going into a bucket, take out what's yours. Okay. All right. Because you got to consider, I'm reading for many different people. All right, energy is fluid. So this reading can be about you or it could be through someone else's eyes. <sighs> All right, these readings are also timeless, by the way, I should say. Magician, I think I'm gonna keep that. I like that. I like that for you, Taurus. Okay. Somebody is secretly working on something. Okay. Cool, calm, collected. Working in your garden. I got that a couple weeks ago too, for somebody. I think it might have just been a general collective reading. Working in a garden. So somebody could be preparing some herbs. Could somebody could be doing some magic spell casting, something like that. I don't feel like it's anything negative or anything like that. Now it could also be metaphorical. So everything that I say can be literal or it can be metaphorical. So take it however it resonates for you. All right. All right. Also hit the like button if you like the way I do readings. And, oh, excuse me, hit the like button, drop me a comment at the end if you feel the need to. It's the third time I've seen this, two cups, love, love is in the air, okay, so somebody is calling in their life partner. The magician for me is a life partner. Within the next year, one year's worth of time, I keep seeing a uh, major arcana. Something's going on. I also saw cancer. I saw the moon. For me, the moon is cancer. And there's also the chariot here. Uh, cancer, cancer season. Okay. Hmm. Could you be dealing with or dating a cancer? Mm-hmm. Could be. Nope. Nope. Okay. All right. So what's going on with this love? What's going on with this love? Within the next year, within the next year, one year's worth of time. Okay. Something is going to start growing within the next year. Now, mm, the snake. Look at that. Look at that. Very nice. Magician and Empress. So you could be dealing with, I kept seeing the Two of Cups, but we also had a card of Cancer a couple times, as well as you have Gemini, Virgo, and you have yourself, Taurus, Libra. Somebody likes french fries. French fries. Watermelon. French fries and watermelon. That's an unusual combination. Hey, whatever. Whatever. Somebody may be doing something. Maybe somebody is needing to Something about the way that somebody is eating. Somebody probably needs to start eating a little bit cleaner. Somebody could even be baking their french fries. 
instead of frying them. Okay, good, good for you. Hey, do whatever you can to make it more healthy, I guess. I'm also getting something about greens, more leafy greens, artichoke. Okay, could be spinach as well. Uh, there's another, something else green and leafy that I can't seem to think of. I can't think of what it is. I mean, it could be broccoli, but there's something else. I can't think of what it is. Anyway, now, what does this have to do with anything? Why are we emphasizing on food? Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. I'm not going to say it. <laughs> not the Tara stereotypes. It's a little unfair. <laughs> All right. Now, temperance. All oh, these major arcanas. What's going on, Taurus? They're all good. They're all magical. Something very magical. This is a magical time of year for you. Something's going on. I think I remember seeing people talking about that on TikTok a lot. <clears throat> Excuse me. About this is going to be a very good year for you. You're going to be manifesting certain things. Bringing certain things in. It's a period of luck. Temperance. Temperance is a card of Sagittarius. Sagittarius is uh, ruled by Jupiter. So something about the planet of Jupiter and also Mercury and Venus. Huh. I don't know why I'm getting into all this, but look to where you have Jupiter, Mercury, and Venus in your birth chart. Do you know your birth time? That might mean something to you. Okay. But apparently Jupiter is in the sign of Taurus this year. I don't know how long it is. I'm not an astrologer. I'm not going to pretend to be one. Just going off of things that I'm kind of being reminded of. Now, for most of you, whoever it is I'm reading for, whatever that nonsense was last week that I read, I don't, I don't see any of that. I don't see any of it. So either this is a new group of Tauruses or you've taken care of the problem. Now, these readings, when I do my readings, a lot of times, you know, sometimes it can be something that happens, you know, right after the reading, it could be like, boom, it happens. Or, you know, it can be generally within the next month, a couple weeks. For me, I notice a lot of readings tend to manifest at least a month, sometimes two to three months. So it's always kind of good to go back and reflect on something. Okay. The reason I'm mentioning that is, that is actually being very accented or highlighted to me right now. So whatever it is that you're going through right now, in the future, this is in your future. This is what's going to be coming in. So whoever it is that may have had anything that they were dealing with, once they get rid of it, this is what you have. Okay? Um, use your discretion with whatever that was. All I know is what I was reading for last week wasn't good energy. So use your discretion. You make the decisions in your own life. Okay. Don't listen to the cards, you know, just listen to your intuition. Okay. This is just supposed to be a tool to kind of help you a little bit, help you along, see things from a, from a different perspective. Okay. You don't have to live your life by it. I don't know why I'm mentioning all this stuff. So take it for however it resonates for you. All right. Somebody really needs to start looking into their birth chart and start strategizing, strategizing based off of your birth chart. Wow. I feel... <sighs> yeah. At 9.17, okay. It's also a card of Leo. This reading is becoming very deep. Like into stuff that I'm not generally, you know, not gener my general course of study. <laughs> not yet anyway. But I'm really, so whoever it is that I'm talking to could be very magical, could be very mystical. They could be, um, could be. I'm not necessarily getting psychic. Somebody who is very good at manifesting. 
And somebody could be manifesting through their beauty, their patience, their poise. Yeah, whatever it is that you were going through, pretty soon it's going to be a thing of the past. You have to use your good, your better judgment. Use common sense. Be rational. Be rational. Weigh the pros and cons. Something that I'm saying right now is going to click on somebody right now. Once it comes out of my mouth, somebody's going to be like, oh, I can't believe she said that. I just picked that up. Something that I'm saying. So somebody could actually be weighing pros and cons about something. Okay. There's also something here about, oh, somebody like Nine Inch Nails. But um, there's also something here about <clears throat> the Holy Trinity. The Holy Trinity. Illumination. Manifestation. As well as alchemy. Okay. Better health. Taking better care of yourself and your health. That is a big part of this too. I love Saguru. Okay. Um, funny thing is I never really researched it a while, but recently I found out that his birthday is the same day as mine. And I love him so much. And I was just like, it just like made my year. I was like, made my 10 years. I was like, oh my God, we have the same birthday. You know, so it was like such a, a wonderful feeling for me. People might be like, oh, you know, okay, that's cool, you know. But to me, that was like, you know, that's such an honor, you know. Not that it's anything about me or anything like that. But for me, it, it, it felt good to me. It just felt good to me. There could be something that you're doing is going to feel good to you. Also, ah, oh, the stars. A lot of stars. Somebody likes to look at the stars. Somebody needs to focus on the stars. Somebody really needs to start focusing on their birth chart. This is a really, really very interesting reading. Anyway, as far as Saguru, I was getting something about food and diet. When you, I have, you know, a lot of stuff that he talks about is uh, about food, diet, mixing certain foods, foods that you should not eat together. You know, uh, he talks a lot about honey. You should not heat or bake, cook with honey because it can turn poisonous. There's a lot of different things. And that could be part of why somebody's maybe been having some problems. So somebody could be mixing foods that probably shouldn't be mixing. You're eating it at the same time when those things, when they get together, they could be inharmonious and become toxic inside the body. Okay. I'm not an expert on any of this, but for whatever reason, it's kind of coming up. So it's being channeled. So this could be something that you maybe are starting to look into as far as your health. Once you start to kind of get your health together and you start eating better, your vibration is going to go up. Your skin is going to clear. Age is going to go away from your face. The weight is going to drop. Your muscles are going to start to get firmed. Okay. You're going to start to feel better. Your thinking is going to get clearer. Okay. That's what I'm getting. And much, much more. Somebody is taking a different approach. This is an incredibly, incredibly, incredibly magical reading, Taurus. It really, really is. Now, let me get a couple more. And again, this is about love. However, love is, love isn't always, you know, romantic. It could be your pets. It can be God. It can be divine. It can be source. It can be, you know, a community, family, friends. Love is love. Okay. So with that being said, you're definitely going to be surrounded by a lot of love, a lot of motivation. That motivation is being channeled through and filtered through, through, through divine, through your instinct, not necessarily your instinct, your intuition. I don't know why I said instinct. Maybe natural instinct might be taking you a different way, but this is all very much very intuitive. So that love is being shown to you. It's being filtered through the crown, filtered throughout the body. It's making you choose different things. That's the love. The universe has been sending you love. If this message makes any sense to you, let me know in the comments because I feel like it's definitely going to make sense to somebody. I feel like it's going to make sense to a lot of people. Okay. Once you do certain things, and I feel like you're already on that. You're already thinking about these things. These things have been popping up. You've been getting synchronicities. You've probably been flipping through, you know, 
videos, channels, probably like out and about, you're looking at, there's a, a sign inside of, on a, on a store, you know, it's going to be like, oh, and it's like these little things that are leading you to something. And it's also changing you. Your taste could even be changing. There's a lot of things that are, that are going to be changing about you. And it's going to change everything. And I feel like a lot of it is going to start from the inside. You know? So there's something. There's a lot about eating healthier. But also knowing you. What it is that you're made up of. The stardust that's inside of you. So this is a, such an incredibly magical reading. Um, I really like this reading. All right, we're challenging you. King of Cups. You might be very... Now, this could be a separate person. Is it? No, it's you. Okay. A challenge to you. You might be very... I don't generally get the King of Cups as being stoic, but you could be much more stoic. I feel like it's time to kind of like release that. Whatever it is that you're holding on to, if you want to express some kind of kindness, gesture, emotion, just do it. That's what I'm getting. Be more free and more open with it. More like the Queen of Cups, because the challenge right now is the King of Cups. It's actually holding that stuff in, not letting it out. So that's what's challenging you. You know, you might feel like there's people around you that wouldn't understand you. Maybe people might think that you're crazy. You know, why is this person doing this now? You know, it doesn't even matter. One day that person may turn, uh, turn to you for help or advice. So don't allow other people to make you feel a certain way or feel afraid of being what you feel like you're being called to do, pulled to do. Okay. Whatever that is. I, I, I talk about smoking a lot because it's like an easy way for me to kind of get people to understand. But it's like, you know, smoking. If you, you know, hang out with, uh, you know, the people at, at break time, you know, you go out with the same, you know, buddies that you smoke with. You don't really have anything else in common. You don't, probably don't do much, very much with them. But every day you, you go out and these are your friends at work or whatever, or whatever it is. And then you decide you want to quit smoking. And they're like, oh, nobody likes a quitter. <laughs> these kind of jokes. But then you don't really have anything in common with them anymore, you know. And then one day, like, let's say you did quit. That per one of those people might come to you one day and be like, what did you do? Can you help me quit? So don't allow people to. And it, that's just like an example. But let's say, you know, you're, you're studying, you know, certain things about health, you know, you know, astrology. Somebody may actually come to you one day and be like, hey, can you help me with this? So don't allow people to stop you. All right, because it can be part of your call or your mission. And the whole thing with the smoking thing, I know because that's happened to me many times. You know, losing weight and stuff like that. Those things have happened to me. You know, that can be part of whatever it is that you're doing. So don't allow yourself to stay stuck. So that's going to be your challenge. You know, if you feel like you need to express to people, that's another thing too. I don't have the hermit here, but uh, you know, a lot of times people are in the closet. They don't want to tell people. And I'm, I'm not saying it as in the term as that, as that. You know, could it be? Yes, but it feels like it's more or less in the term of, being afraid of being open and vulnerable to people, you know, saying, hey, yeah, I'm, I'm really into tarot. I love these tarot card readings because you're afraid of how people may see you. So what? You know, I think as part of it nowadays is like, I think we need to all start being more open with everything to let people know, hey, there's a lot of us out here. And they're probably like that too. But everyone is in this little confined space where they're just like, we're not allowed to show that we, because we could be deemed as, you know, crazy or something like that. All right. I think it's time to kind of like move away from that and be more open. All right. And that could be what somebody's going through. That's going to stop. There's going to be a very, very rapid change with you in many different ways. And for many of you, it's going to be in different ways, multiple levels. All right. That's hidden. Okay, someone that is waking up. So this is what you, you know, you could be waking. Oh, the wind's picking up out there. You could be waking up to something about another person or maybe about trends. 
I don't know, trends, you know? S certain things are just uncool anymore. C certain things are just not trendy anymore, you know? <laughs> You'll know what that means, I'm pretty sure. But for me, like, you know, going out to certain, you know, bars and doing certain things is not trendy to me anymore. It's not trendy. It's not, it's not cool. It's very, it's incredibly uncool. You know, that's just to me. But I know that there's a lot of other people that, that feel the same way. <laughs> so another example, but, you know, you're moving away from something. You're kind of like awakening to something. And you're like, you know what, I, I got to move away from it. And it even could be about, you know, whatever that person is that you're leaving behind. A very childish, immature, immature person. You know, somebody could have a lot of attitude about it. You know, you, you're just like, you know what, I got to do me anymore. I can't do you. I can't. Well, that sounds, that sounds bad. But I can't do anything for you anymore. I got to do for me. You got to do for you. You got to learn to stay on your own two feet. Okay. So that's what that is. All right. Mm -hmm. There could be a weakness that you have. There's definitely a weakness that you have. I don't feel like it's like you can indulge when you have everything under control. So it's like I, I like to say about, you know, working out. I remember seeing, uh, it might have been Jillian Michaels years ago. Years and years ago, when she was talking about, I think it was her, when you work out a vigorous workout for so many, you know, however much time that you do it for, your body continues to burn calories. So somebody in that good, good of shape, you know, can probably go a month without working out and still be, and their body is still maintaining itself. It's still burning those calories, you know. So she can probably do whatever it is that she wants as long as she doesn't keep, continue to go off that track. You know, if she's like doing certain things, you know, I think it was her who was talking about that. But that's what it is. If you have a very vigorous workout, your body continues for up to 12 hours. You know, if you have like a 10, 15 minute workout that's like, uh, you know, a lot of impact or, or running, your body will continue to burn up to 12 hours calories continuously. So... Whenever you get to a certain point, if you have a weakness, you can always indulge at some point, but that's when you have control of it, okay? So if you can't cut certain things out, you know, maybe kind of like, you know, I think you know what I'm talking about. Now, if it isn't that, well, it is something like that. You know, it's it's something like that, or it even could be about, as Knight of Wands in reverse, hey, oh, Knight of Wands in reverse could be something about laziness. You know, that could be a part of it too, is maybe finally kicking that in the butt, okay? And that could be part of, you know, don't get lazy on yourself. Make sure that you're continuing to move around, okay? Um, whatever, there's also, there's other weaknesses here. I can go down the laundry list and I'm not going to do that, you know. You know what your weakness is. As long as you get a hold of certain things. And then there are certain things that are probably just flat out bad for you that you just need to kind of like leave it alone. All right, that's what I got. This is a really, really beautiful, incredible reading this week, Taurus. But uh, keep up the good work. Keep moving forward. Don't feel guilty either. Don't feel guilty. Do what you got to do. All right. That's it. Hit the like button. Uh, drop me a comment. Let me know if this resonates for you. Um, hopefully, maybe it inspires you. I don't know. Because um, this is a really beautiful, inspirational reading. But um, yeah. And uh, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so that you are made aware every time that I upload a new video. And that's pretty much it. And I think we're going to be doing, um, I'm going to be doing the rest of the fixed signs. So anyway, I'll see you around. Good luck.